Long time no see everyone, it's your old mate Jakargon back at it again. This time with a how to style video for these, the Rick Owens mainline sock Ramones. As always, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like and subscribe and comments are very, very much appreciated. Now the Rick Owens sock Ramone is one of my favorite shoes. It was a grail of mine and now I actually have a couple of pairs of them. There's a couple of videos going more in depth into my feelings about the shoes, but TLDR, I really, really, really do like them except for the fact that the soles deteriorate incredibly quickly, something that is very, very common with all Rick sneakers, at least in my experience. So for this video, I wanted to go into some ideas of how you could or how you may not want to style these shoes. I sometimes get people commenting on other styling videos that I've done saying like, these all look terrible. And it's like, like they're ideas, I guess. They're not like <laughs> set in stone. You have to do it this way or else. So yeah, count them as, you know, tentative. It can be a good thing or a bad thing. It's really up to you. There's some ideas. But anyway, I digress. Let's get into some looks. I'll talk over the top and give you some insights into why I paired this with that. But yeah, I hope you enjoy them and see you on the other side. All right, so here's the first look wearing this lot of wide cropped basique t-shirt. It's very, very light and soft, perfect for summer. Uh, these Yoji Black Scandal balloon pants without the hems tied, so they're just nice and wide. Then the sock Ramones, just accessorizing with a cheeky Vivi necklace here, but it's overall a really, really nice, comfortable look that you can definitely pull off in the warmer weather. And it's pretty achievable too, because it's really just wide pants with more of a wide oversized top that you can definitely get something like that from Uniqlo. All right, so here is the next look wearing this front left twisted shirt by Yoji Ground Y. And I've also just noticed that the tag is dagging out. That's really, really embarrassing. I don't know how I'm going to come back from this. But anyway, uh, wearing the balloon pants now with the hems tied. I love balloon pants for this because you can just change the aesthetic on the fly. Then with a Dublé Omomori necklace and these round Yoji sunglasses, I think looks pretty cool, calm and mysterious with this. Just if you see me out and about with my tag out, please tell me. Okay, so for the next look, wearing this long sleeved asymmetrical shirt, I guess, t-shirt, along with a pair of my favorite pants, the Cray Green track pants, and then the shoes along with the Vivi necklace again. I really like how the top is longer in the front compared to the back and then has that little bunching detail along with the pants being layered and having so much dynamic movement to them. I think it all looks really, really nice together and not even overdressed either. It looks like a very chill, I might just be going for a walk, but still very effortless and I love it. So for this look, felt like doing something also quite casual, wearing this Uniqlo women's hoodie. It's a little bit cropped, also with a Uniqlo Supima cotton t-shirt underneath, and then these Yoji regulation pants at the bottom. I really do like these pants as well because you can cinch the hems much like balloon pants, but they're not super wide either. So it really just keeps them at a lovely length on your shoes. And then added the Dublé Omomori necklace as well as an accessory. It looks pretty chill, relaxing, dresses the shoes down quite a bit as like a, I'm going to the shops type beat. All right, here's a pair for slimmer pant gang. Don't worry. Our time is soon. It is coming and everyone will be stoked about it again. I guess hopefully, you know, who knows what will happen with skinny jeans. But here I am wearing a pair of locally made Villa DP01 stacked J-cut pants with a unique Lusapima cotton t-shirt and then this gorgeous Anya embroidered Yoji Tencel shirt. Buttoning up a couple of the buttons here to see how it looks. This doesn't look too bad, although it was kind of funny putting the pants on because they're so tight around the calves that initially the pants were tucked into the shoes. And honestly, maybe that's a vibe? Okay, so here is one of my favorite looks of the bunch, wearing the sock Ramones with these wrap pants tucked into them. So similar to what we were talking about before with then a button up shirt from Yoji, this tie from Yoji, and this gorgeous Mihara Yasuhiro Hari with the lovely checkered layer beneath. 
I really, really do love how this outfit looks and also the strings of the pants hanging down below the waist as well. It's got a lot of movement and flow to it and oh, it just is so fun to wear. This look here is one for the Canadians out there wearing double denim. The soccer bones beneath these incredibly wide, also distressed everywhere, Yoji. I think they're 10 ounce denim jeans and then this Yoji 10 ounce denim matching trucker's jacket. Beneath it, I'm wearing the Craig Green laced hoodie and just have the lace detail off the hood hanging over the top. So have a little bit of a pop of white as an accessory to then match the shoes white toad cap at the bottom. What do you think? I think it actually looks kind of neat and a bit of an unexpected accessory. All right, here we are back into drapey territory population. Us wearing this Yojipur Om cotton coat along with this black scandal long shirt, this no future tie, and then possibly my favorite pair of shorts, the black scandal half pants with the soccer moans underneath. These circular glasses also really tie up the look giving it that kind of avant-garde vibe that it really, really just has. And I reckon I could just, I should just wear this more out. It's just so easy and it might look like there's a lot going on, but it's actually super comfortable and spacious. And that's what it's all about when you're getting out and about. Okay, final look for this series, wearing these Yoji Black Scandal Karasu pants, this Mihara Yasuhiro Nehane, pleated back pleated giant back pleat look at it look at it go this short sleeve button up and then this locally made water bear hat i love the ears as well as the pin on it and this look is just a lot of fun i really do like matching white from a piece of the rest of the outfit to the white toe caps i've mentioned that before but i will always like doing that and that's one of my favorite things to try and cohesively put something together in an outfit and I think it does really well here. I wish I could get some movement shots of this because I feel like the rear bit of the pants and the back pleat would look so great in motion. Hey, welcome back. What did you think? Any favorites? I was actually a lot of fun putting on a bunch of different outfits all in like the same filming session. I haven't done that for a while. Maybe we should do it some more, but yeah, I think personally my favorite was just wearing the one at the end with the hat and the Mihara Yasuhiro like black and white top and the karasu pants. I don't know, it feels very sort of silly and lighthearted, whimsical even maybe, but I think that that would look so good in motion because of the movement of all the garments and that's what I'm all about. But overall, all very, very comfy outfits, a very, very comfy shoe. And hopefully this has given you some ideas for what you can do and can't do if you do decide to pick up a pair of these, which if you can get them for a great deal, I highly, highly recommend. You will love them. They're just so easy to take on, take off. Yeah, jazzed. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, you'll take care of yourselves. Be safe, have fun. And as always, don't do anything I do, except, I don't know, why not just put on a bunch of outfits in front of the mirror and see what works for you? And if you don't have a mirror, I don't know, your camera phone? And if you don't have a camera phone, I don't know, find someone else's. Use your webcam, something, anything, you figure it out. And I'll see you there. All right, take care. Bye-bye.